welcome back guys to the jungle walker channel and to the new visitors welcome in this episode i am drawing a face of a jewish man i have set up the head posture which i had already explained in my previous videos in this episode i will be explaining how to draw the nose mouth and the eyes before we start though do click the subscribe button below to support my artwork channel so um, i'm going to explain a little bit more um, what the material i'm using the medium i'm using this uh, pencil is a uh, hp to set up the, the head posture and of course i'm going to use this blue ballpoint pen this is the main pen i'm going to use as you can see the head here is only the pen with the pencil to mark to mock it up the eyes the nose the mouth are already set up and i'm going to set up a proof a bit of this the shape of this head and the hair before adding a deeper scribble lines blue line on top of my this joint before i'm going to start this uh, and i think it's not working properly hold on there you go so i'm going to start this head up there somewhere there bearing in mind that some of this pencil mark that i already added on this drawing just to mock up it may be uh, erased in a minute whatever doesn't suit it well From my understanding of a Jewish man, the Orthodox Jews, they do have uh, short hair on this side. And yeah, very uh, neatly cut over here on top of the head. And they do have this uh, a hat right at the top. Yeah, the name of this hat is uh, Kippa. Then keep I think yeah, and also known as Yarmouk to the Yiddish. To my Jewish friend out there, do correct me if I'm wrong. This, this is purely um, drawing exercise. twirling at least I think I usually twirl like that okay now I already set this I set this up set there here is some of this no longer Needed. A little bit of this brush to swipe. I also can get rid of this line now. It's not that I'm going necessarily need it. The reason why I take it off is because when I when I started scribble on it with my uh, ballpoint pens, the ink tend to be um, frozen or not coming out properly that's why I need to erase them first away from the surface Sorry. 
Right now that you see um, a quick setup of this, uh, the head, I started with the shedding, darkening a bit, part of that is need to be darker. Now, as I said before, I'm going to more focus on the eyes, the nose and mouth. I'm going to start with the eyes first, I just try to show you bit by bit. But it is important that certain race has certain distinctive features. And it's not easy and even myself struggle with it sometimes well most of the time and we but I'm, I'm surely we can go through this particularly the eyes and it's most important features and of course certain part also I'm gonna start with the eyes you can see that I set, set up with this round shape because it represent the shape of the eyes, the eyeballs, and that will give uh, an idea how, uh, how the eyes will be. With this uh, ballpoint, uh, blue point paint or ballpoint paint is uh, tricky because one eye scraper on something is not easy to erase with the eraser. So it is important to be very, very careful or to mark with the pencil. So I'll start like that, okay? You need to always think of three-dimensional. Three-dimensional, always imagine. It's not about drawing only. Is that It is important to imagine how would it be in real life. I suppose the eyes try to look on this side toward to the left this page There's a line there, usually typical of people eyes. There. No. This is what I should have been for eyebrow in a minute. Good. This is there for now. Now we're going I'm going to move on to this one. this pencil line from there now I need to do this uh, the eyes roughly looking toward that way instead of the, the face is to it to the right but the eyes looking to the left I suppose the center of the eyes like this So it applies to that too.
that will be the reflexive surface to give a bit of uh, the illusion as if it's real eyes how you do it the, the how I do it that I do the, the on the side of the eyes uh, I'm going to do the next one here it will be the same but obviously it's different slightly different from different angle so again I'm going to start as I already marked with my pencil here we will start with the, the dark side of it as it is and I'm going to carefully drawing line around that this reflexive uh, surface the eyes as I said earlier to give the illusion of this is the rear eyes if you look at your eyes eyeballs uh, actually do have this kind of texture Usually when light coming from there, it emerged on this side, so it gave a bit of a three-dimensional effect on a drawing.
Right, as you can see, I've done with the the eyes, both sides, and now I'm going to move into move onto the nose. Okay, we will. I will continue with the picture in between the eyes, the nose, and mouth afterward. Just just like a puzzle. Okay, we're gonna start with the nose now. Right. This is pointy nose. Okay. Nice. Pointy nose. I like to talk about that I like to emphasize more because I've been asked by a few people already the thing is when I on in my drawing when it comes to the shape of the nose to give a bit of a three-dimensional effect into my drawing when I put a bit of shed on it I tend to leave right at the edge of the line to be left lighter instead of going all the way so give a gap between the inside your nozzle and the skin surrounding other than that so that applies to that see I'm not touching that it's like at the end of that because if you look at the camera, it will be the same if you if you were taking a picture of someone's face with the camera. If you look carefully, it will be the same effect produced by a camera shot. You see, it's beginning to take. Can you see that now? And I will add more detail to that in a minute, in a moment. I completed with the nose and the, 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 and the neck, the eyes, the nose, and of course the mouth later on. For now, we're just, I'm just giving you the uh, profile, if you like. Can you see the difference now? Right, right now that I'm done with the basic shape of the nose to give a bit of a three-dimensional shape effect, I'm now going to move on to the mouth. Always remember that line, the beginning of the set line that I did before. So make sure that it's central, as symmetrical as you can. Like that, okay. Some people have different way of doing it, but I, the easiest for me, I believe is like this. Right. Thank you. 
usually I try to do the start it with the line first. Um, try to the line with trying to imitate the actual texture of the lips before I added before I add sh uh, shade into it because it's easy that way. Can you see that it's already beginning to take shape? Easier that way, just to, trying to imitate the actual texture of the lips the above. And now do the same thing, the lower lips. Again, if you look at this, how wide I put the lines over another line as if it's an offset it will you will see the effect of that because if you look properly at your lips if you take a picture of your lips it has a lighter edge on both of it because it will give the three-dimensional effect of your drawings as I said before um, Drawing it with this, shading it that way with the actual texture of your lips, it will give a almost realistic effect. Not necessarily hyper realistic, as I said before, it's not hyper realistic drawings. Right, guys. I have done the, the eyes, the nose, the mouth and I will add a bit a bit more of the beard just a little bit more on the face before I put them all together but this time I'm not going to be explaining as I go along otherwise it will really take quite a while and I'm going to Seriously, I'm going to just fast forward. Uh, the final completing uh, the complete drawing of this face of a, a Jewish man face and I hope you like it and don't forget to click the subscribe button to support my 
my channel so that I can continue with the next episodes for different drawing tutorial online and yeah thank you very much and don't forget to click the bell also so you could be the notif first to be notified with the next episode for the next uh, videos thank you very much